Yeah, we're on live streaming. <coughs> At 11 o'clock last night, detectives from the Gold Coast executed a search warrant on a resort here on the Gold Coast. They searched a room and took into custody three men. Police will allege that the three men taken into custody are members of a criminal motorcycle gang. They've been arrested and charged under the new legislation in relation to criminal organisations, insofar as more than two of them in a public place. Police will also allege that a sum of money was found, approximately $7,700, and that's the subject of additional charges for tainted property and also a quantity of dangerous drugs. The men will appear in Brisbane Magistrates Court today. What's the significance of these arrests? This is the first arrest under the new legislation here in Queensland as far as criminal organisations go. Have you been waiting to use these charges? I don't know if I've been waiting to use the charges. The legislation's been there, they've been well aware the legislation's there and of course police will allege that they uh, disregarded the legislation and uh, moved together in a public place in a group more than two. Can you elaborate on how you discovered the three of them in the same hotel room? Yeah, I won't uh, disclose the source of the information but I can indicate that police will allege that two of them belong to the criminal motorcycle gang, the Mongols, the third person belonged to the criminal motorcycle gang, the Finks. Whereabouts did they actually meet? In the foyer. In the foyer. How long was the actual meeting? Was it a, was it a chat? Was it a, were they drinking together? What were the circumstances? No, they were talking together in the foyer whilst being attended to by a, uh, an employee of the resort. Was yeah. it perhaps as they were checking in or something, or is? That's right. Were they wearing the uh, the, the Mongols caps and the, the paraphernalia at the time? That's right. Two of them were wearing paraphernalia, clearly linking them to a criminal motorcycle gang, and that will certainly form part of the case insofar as the criminal organisation goes. But we'll also look at further charges under the provisions of the Liquor Act, which forbid the wearing of criminal motorcycle gang paraphernalia on licensed premises. Police will allege that that area of the resort is in fact licensed. That's pretty sort of adult. I mean. They're just turning their noses up at all properties by doing that, aren't they? Well, that's right. It's a very public resort. They obviously had little regard for the law and um, perhaps will pay the penalty. And were these guys locals? Where, where were they from? Yeah, two were from Southport, one from Western Australia. Were they surprised that they had breached? Were they perhaps unaware that that area was licensed? They may be unaware the area was licensed, but certainly, um, like I say, it was a reasonably popular resort, and uh, I think there should have been an expectation that they uh, shouldn't have been doing what they were doing, and they should have expected to get caught. What do you think they were there for? Were they staying there for a holiday? It wasn't a holiday. Mm. I mean, there was a lot of cash, and were there much drugs there? Well, I think you could draw a conclusion that it was a business-type gathering by the way of the, uh, the money that was found and uh, certainly people of a like mind as far as a criminal motorcycle gang goes whilst they don't have anything specific to indicate while they were there I think you could draw your own conclusions. The association laws are you know, are three people associating together given that two of them are from one club and one's from another club is there a loophole there potentially that they're all from the same club and that they could associate into club work, into club? No, the clubs are clearly listed under the criminal organisations. Can confirm which report is wrong? No. no. What about what type of work? Uh, they haven't been analysed yet. Okay. They're just tools at this stage until we get something you know, back from the government analyst. There have been, of course, reports that a lot of Vikings or um, members of criminal outlaw uh, gangs are going underground um, and you know moving to other states and, and sort of staying low. So is it a surprise, I guess, to uh, you guys that they were in that sort of resort that is quite public and, and sort of making an appearance like that? Yeah, it is a surprise but um, police will allege that they booked into that resort very early in the morning before there was a lot of people going through the, uh, the main foyer of the uh, hotel. And of course, uh, when the police attended, it was 11.30 last night. So. Can we just clear up who is a member of which club? Like the 26-year-old from Western Australia, is he a, a pink or a mongrel? The, um, the 28 year old is a pink, the 28 year old is a mongrel, and the 36 year old mongrel. Can you explain the process now? Well, they'll appear and no doubt make a bail application when they go to Brisbane, and from there they'll be either granted bail or remanded in custody pending uh, no doubt a hearing. Is this a message now? Like, do you think this message might actually get through to other criminal motorcycle gang members? 
I think the message should get through to other criminal motorcycle gang members. Uh, heaven forbid we've certainly put it out there on a number of occasions, not simply for major resorts or the glitter strip, but also for the suburban hotels indicating that we would be going through to make sure that they weren't there and breaching the legislation as far as the criminal organisations go. But uh, on this particular occasion they thought perhaps they would uh, fly under the uh, radar. What sort of penalties can they face? Well, probably not appropriate for me to comment on penalties. I'd suggest it perhaps is upwards of six months imprisonment. Do they fall under that, that banner of 10 years or 15 years potentially as well? Is, do, those, do these charges come under that? They do come under mandatory sentencing, which I believe is in excess of six months jail. And Jim, do you, with the paraphernalia they've got, uh, is it only the hats that are logoed or is there logos on other stuff? Oh, look, I haven't really looked closely at it. Certainly the hats display the uh, the wording of Mongol. And, and the other shoes, what's, what, what would they have been taken to? What, what would the police have taken as shoes? Oh, look, I haven't had a close look at them to see if they do actually display any um, logo of a criminal motorcycle gang. Given that there are three caps that say Mongols, is it possible the think was in the process of patching over as the rest of the gang? Gang done? Yeah, look, highly likely. We're not seeing too many Finks remaining with the Finks Club as such, especially with the younger people. Uh, maybe some of the more senior members may remain with Finks, but the rest are patching over to Mongol. Can you confirm the reports that it's as much as 90% of the club? That's what we are hearing, yeah. Those look good. Yeah.